So how do you respond to Google reviews as a small business owner? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I respond to both positive and negative Google reviews and how it's really impacted my business. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Ryan Court and this is Ryan Reflects. And on this channel, I share actionable personal development content as well as my thoughts on trending topics and common life experiences. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And throughout any point in the video, make sure you check out the notes and links in the description below. Honestly, Google reviews are critical nowadays. They help you increase your presence on the internet when it comes to organic search. So the free search when people are searching through Google, they help you boost, line, boost your online reputation, drives more traffic to your website, and ultimately helps you increase the amount of revenue that you bring in through your small business. In 2020, 87% of people read small business reviews for local businesses that they supported and 96% of them read the owner's response to those reviews. So of course it's very important to get positive Google reviews, but it's even more important, right? To properly respond to them, whether they're positive or negative. So in order for this video to really be applicable for you, you want to have a Google My Business account, right? You must have, be, have a small business where you have a free Google My Business account. You have to make sure you follow Google's terms of service, otherwise they will get rid of your account. And you have to make sure that you verify your business. They give you two ways to do so. They'll give you a call with a custom code or they'll send you a postcard with a custom code. You enter that code and your business is verified. So first things first, as a small business owner, you can respond to any and all reviews that come in through your Google My Business account. And you can do so via desktop and or mobile. You know, So me personally, I have my notifications on on mobile. I see when a new review comes through and if I really wanna respond right away, I can do so via mobile. Otherwise, I schedule time to respond to reviews in bulk utilizing the desktop application. And when it comes to responding to reviews, I respond to every single one. And why do I do so, right? Well, at the end of the day, if somebody took the time to provide feedback on your business, positive, negative, neutral, don't you think that they deserve a response? Not to mention, I want my an optometrist, my potential current patients to know that I care about their eye health, vision, and general well-being, and that their feedback is valued. And not to mention, customers, patients, people in general are much more likely to respond and to really trust a business when they take feedback that is given to them and they respond accordingly. And of course, if you're in healthcare, make sure you don't violate HIPAA while doing so. That's a big no-no. So how do you respond to positive reviews? Well, responding to good, positive reviews lets those customers, those people that support your business know that you really respect and value and want to nurture their relationship, particularly you appreciate their feedback on your products and or services. Honestly, it's really important that you respond in a timely manner though. The last thing that you want to see as somebody who provides a positive review is, you know, few months down the road, you get a response. Thanks. Really appreciate the review. A few months down the road. That's a way too long. I would say give it a week or two max. If you can do so within 24 to 48 hours, that's the best practice. I understand as a small business owner, you're busy, but the sooner you respond, the better. And of course, it's a positive piece of feedback that they're providing you. So use their name in the response if they provide that via their Google account and make sure you thank them. Give them a thank you. Show that you appreciate them for supporting your business, for being a valued customer. A genuine thank you goes a very long way, even when it's put in context in words on a Google My Business page. And then of course you wanna take into account grammar and some of the words that you're using because, hey, guess what? When you respond to a Google review, you can actually place in their keywords to help you further optimize your business. Now, of course, I, I highly recommend you just keep your reviews well-written, good punctuation, grammar. But also, if somebody mentions something specific about your business and you wanna amplify that keyword, utilize it in your response. Take it to your advantage as well, and that helps optimize your Google My Business page. And what good would a response be to a positive review if you didn't invite them back to come visit your business? and ask them to bring along a family member or friend. It can go as simple as this. Thank you so much for you know, providing this feedback on your product or service. 
can't wait to see you next visit. We look forward to seeing you soon. And oh, by the way, make sure you bring along a family member or friend. We'd love to meet them too. And of course, after you've appropriately responded to a positive review, why not repurpose that review and share it on social media and utilize it through your internal marketing efforts and or even post it on your, your website, right? Repurposing is key. And Google even knows this. They have a page I'll link to in the description below where it'll sync up with your Google My Business account and generate assets that you can share on social media and use within your business, right? So stickers, posters, swag, it's pretty awesome. Definitely worth checking out, but why not repurpose and share that positive feedback? So how do you respond to negative reviews? And of course, it's more challenging to respond to a negative review than it is a positive review, but did you know that 70% of people are more likely to come and visit your business if you, the owner or team, responds to its negative reviews. So first things first, right? When a negative review comes in, it's an emotional response. You're a small business owner and kind of hits you, right? You're like, what happened? Take a deep breath, right? Get some context, talk to your team, talk to whoever's ever working that day or you know exactly the, the encounter, take some time to think about what happened and gather all the information right before you respond. Don't just respond right away off emotion. And if you have their contact information, you know, you can gather all the information you can internally through your team and even through your efforts, but reach back out and take the time to listen. A lot of times negative reviews are prompted because people don't feel like they were listened to, respected, or served appropriately. Take the time to listen to why that even occurred in the first place. And then of course, ask questions for clarity. If there's a misunderstanding, ask how you could have done or provided support, what you could have done differently, right? And listen to their responses. Don't jump on top of their responses but take the time to ask questions for further contacts. And of course, if you're able to get a hold of the person who left the negative review, you're hoping to find middle grounds and to diffuse the situation, but make sure that if you were in the wrong, you own it. If you, if you weren't, that you were able to at least leave on amicable terms, right? Um, we all know sometimes negative reviews come through and there was nothing you could have done about it and there's times where you messed up and you gotta own it. But uh, taking care of that, over the phone or in person or just when you're able to connect connect with that person is always the best approach. But of course, after you do so, you're gonna to wanna to respond publicly through Google My Business. And again, if their profile identifies them by name, use their name in the response, they're a human, right? When you messed up or somebody in your team or within your business messed up, take ownership and be professional with how you respond to that negative review. You know, me personally, I always like to, to make sure that our patients are heard if there was something negative that occurred that we could have prevented. And I like to even let them know when we are going to take your feedback and we're gonna to promise to do better, we're going to do better. And letting them know that their feedback is going to help improve your small business, the ability, uh, the ability for your team to provide whatever product or service they provide and in doing so, you know, it has not gone unheard in one year and out the other. And of course, if the review was out of line, right, and there was really something that, uh, you know, wasn't directly related to the products or services or the support or just the service that your team provides, provide clarity, context, present the facts so that anybody reviewing the review has a good understanding of where you're coming from as an owner. Uh, I'm not saying to go ahead and start a war or a battle online, but you, you're, you're, it's okay to stick up for your business if somebody comes out of left field and says something that is truly out of line and is, is just not true about your business. And at the end of the response, I always like to leave our office number, but you can leave your number, you can leave an email, a way for that customer to respond back to you directly in private, if, especially if you weren't able to connect with them in the first place when you made that effort to do so. So yeah, responding to negative reviews isn't the easiest thing, but make sure you also sign off with your name, your initials, and let them know that you're a real person on the other end. Because sometimes we get so caught up in the world of the internet and you know we feel like we can just lash out and put it all on the table. 
And uh, a lot of times people forget that there is a human being on the other end of that review that they left. And of course, a little bonus here, um, something that's come out in just talking with friends and colleagues and, and small business owners is people want to know, hey, how do you get negative reviews removed? The reality of the situation is you don't, right? Um, unless you're able to connect with that person in person over the phone via email, and then you rectify the situation, you resolve the issue, and then you know you let them know, well, I really appreciate you um, taking the time to provide your feedback. It means a lot to me as a business owner, but now that we have this review out here on the internet and potential customers can see it, do you mind modifying that, editing it, changing it, or even removing it? And it never hurts to ask, right? So you can always ask, in a very polite way. I always like to say, hey, if you wanna you know, maybe adjust or edit the review, and if you feel like it's no longer uh, relevant, remove it. And we've had people do so and it's effective, but at the end of the day, you know, the best way to go about this is to provide superior customer service and support on the front end, and it'll just decrease the, the need for somebody to feel like they need to come by and review your business negatively. So how do you respond to reviews on Google, both positive, negative, and in between? I'd love to hear your strategies in the comments below and stick around for my next video where we can reflect and grow stronger together.